Tuesday, so that means we get to check in with the unconventional dietitian Daphne Olivier joins us now on the phone. Hey Daphne, thanks so much for being here today. Hey, thanks for having me today. Of course. So we're continuing our sugar talks from the past couple of weeks. Now we're talking about cravings. How can we kind of get rid of these sugar cravings? Yeah, so we know that there's not 100% buy-in on sugar addiction in the medical community, but sugar cravings are intense and they're very real. So it starts with kind of how you set up your lifestyle. Number one is you have to sleep. So I know we kind of talked about this before, but sleep, um, if you are tired, your body is going to be craving two things. One is sugar, and that's a means to kind of pick you up again, mm -hmm. and the other is caffeine. So sleeping and getting a good amount of sleep, you know, somewhere between seven to nine hours is what's recommended, is going to help with curbing sugar, sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. The other is managing your blood sugar. So managing blood sugar so you're not having highs and lows, you have to prioritize protein and find ways to add in fiber. Okay. So I think we talked about protein. Protein's yeah. pretty easy, um, but fiber is a little bit of like, it's. It, we usually only think about fiber for one thing, so we won't talk about that today, but um, fiber is gonna help with managing blood sugar. So huh. beans and legumes, so everything from red beans to black, beans, black-eyed peas, lentils, those are great sources of fiber. Yeah. Also, some of your more natural foods like avocados and nuts and seeds, those are also really good sources of fiber. So adding in some of those fiber sources, of course, there's lots of fiber supplements that you can do, mm -hmm. but fiber will help to balance blood sugar and also help with uh, curbing some of those sugar cravings. And then the third thing that I'll talk about today is setting up your environment to yeah. support you. Absolutely. So if you know that you're always going to your um, your colleague's office and they have a candy jar on their desk, eh, maybe we need to change up that routine a little bit. Or if you leave um, sodas sitting out in your pantry where you can just easily grab them or in the refrigerator, I guess, where you can easily grab them, let's like not let those be so obvious right into your eyes whenever you open the, the cabinet or open the refrigerator. So yeah. set up your environment so that those high sugar foods that you often crave are not in your visual sight. And that helps to support the, the downplay of, of sugar cravings. I love that advice, Daphne. That was great advice for our viewers. Thank you so much for continuing this sugar talk with us today. Thank you.